Hello guys, welcome back to Abhi's vlog and here we are in York. Yes guys, we are in York. York is a Roman origin place. Actually, basically, it's a Roman Palpani Chan Park. So, it has a light Roman touch. But however, York is a wonderful place to have a good day. To be honestly, for a weekend or two, you can have fun here. I basically enjoyed coming here again and again. So, I want to bring York to you guys. So guys, come and have a look at York. This is really fantastic. So guys, uh, present day the cathedral are gochcha no. So I'm just waiting. Ticket this ko naani. It's costing around like 12.50 pounds. This is the cathedral. So lopla tour and kids taking around like. 12.50 pounds or do naru so it's costing 12.50 pounds to just get inside the cathedral and it's also called as ministry to have a look around how it is inside how old it is what's the history and edi uh, once we go in uh, lobby till in darwaza we'll find out how it is cathedral the metropolitan church of saint peter in york is commonly known as york minster and it's one of the largest of its kind in north europe The first recorded church was a wooden structure built in 627 to provide a place to King Edward of Northumbria. More substantial building began in the decade of 630, and later a stone structure was completed by 637 by Oswald and was dedicated to Saint Peter. In 741, the church was destroyed in a fire. It was later rebuilt as a larger structure containing 30 altars. Church in the entire area later on in the period was passed through various hands, numerous invaders and wars. But with the actual work start in 12th century and finish completely in 17th century. This is our Kada. You can see how many people are waiting in queues uh, just to go inside and watch the cathedral inside, how it is, how it is built, and how it is flourishing. So within some minutes, uh, I'll be inside the cathedral, and it will be a great uh, view. I guess so. I'm excited. So I guess you people also will get nice thrill by watching what's inside. As I came in and I just kept going, I was really astonished by the things inside, the huge walls, the pillars, and the paintings. Awesome, and they're awesome, Gundalapala. Uh, everything has history related to each and every part inside this architect, and everything is spectacular. And it's super gorgeous. You know the high towers, walls, carvings. Everything has some history with this. Everything is built at various parts of centuries. It's not that this whole structure is built overnight. Super on the way, I am not going to be even saying that this is the who are like morally interested with history. They can come in while the exciting one today to know things. The whole um, cathedral anta inside you can just walk around in 90 minutes if you just uh, like to just see each thing. But if you want a brief history, you have two guides inside. They'll take you this Kalatharu. They'll show you each and everything. They'll explain you. And the most important thing, the kings, the all the kings who from I think King three hundred three inches till eight, the later on kings, while structures for that they carved it inside. It's really awesome and awesome on the. I really enjoyed uh, what all is inside this cathedral, the paintings, the carvings on the walls, the sitting ballet for the bishops. anta kuda it's really nice to walk around to know it mm, sometimes it's very good to come around and know what's there because such things it doesn't only predicts a one history because this has a roman touch an english touch so everything has got some significance in this place 
so it's a nice place to come in and just walk around for one hour two hours if you like history so guys i recommend this cathedral for everybody who likes to enjoy and have a look what's inside the history Shambles Market is my next stop and it's a historic and vibrant market and it's a home to York's largest group of independent traders. This is situated in the heart of York between the famous Portal Street, the Shambles and the Parnon Street. One of the north of England's largest open air market is open seven days a week from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's a home to more than 70 stalls. The market is one stop shop for all your daily requirements and special purchases, guys. And to be honest, one or the other happenings always keep going on here, and especially during Christmas, this is the awesome place to come in. So guys, next we have the Shambles Street, the famous Shambles Streets of York, which is one of the most prominent street and of the busiest street in all of the world. The Shambles Street is very famous for its old overhanging buildings, which were of the 14th century. Most of the buildings of those era have been perishing, but there's some remains of which shows the history how this street was built in those days, especially for butchery and some sales and traders guys this is a beautiful street to walk in because you can see the significance of how the shambles is mostly famous for if you want to know more come in enjoy and see the site guys it's a remarkable site guys so my you know jovic viking center go channel no? hi man head on in okay hi 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 yeah so guys, I came to this Viking Center. It took me like uh, 13 pounds, 50 pounds, and this ticket is valid for a year. So I can come how many times I want in a year. Hi. So this is a reconstruction of okay. part of the jig down here. Okay. Um, so feel free to walk in the gap, have a look around, just let me know if you have any questions. Oh. The golden age of Anglo-Saxon York came to an abrupt end in the mid-9th century AD. The prosperity of the city made it an obvious target for the Danish Vikings. In 866, an invasion force led by an Ivar the Boneless captured the city and made the capital of the new territory in northern England. The Vikings changed the name of the city from a Saxon name to Jovic, although the name of Jovic did not survive the Viking period. The Vikings established a peaceful community based on agriculture and trade. Houses were built from wood with wattled in fills for the walls and packed closely together in a long narrow strip. The Vikings' influence lasted less than a century. In 954, Eric Bloodaxe was defeated by Edward, King of Essex. Edward forged an alliance between the Northern Kingdom of Northumbria and his own dominance in the south. The city was not known to peace. Although succession of local rebellions and fresh invasions from the north kept the north of England in a state of turmoil and confusion well into the 11th century. So basically guys, this is all the history of Vikings in New York. So this center is mainly about their lifestyle, how they live their life, what kind of food they ate, how they lived, uh, how they used to make the life settlement here in this Christian country. Uh, they used to have their own gods, 
the other side they used to even some even change themselves into christianity so all these things are predicted in the center so you can know how these things when you come to this jovic viking center it's a very good brief history about the olden age like how they lived the life how they used to make the life it's quite good experience this cable car kind of thing which takes you around and shows it says the history it's a good yummy yummy nice thing so i enjoyed this viking center this like everybody who comes to york so when people come to york for sure you need to come to this jovic viking center and have a look at this um artifacts is quite good i enjoyed it Guys, in the last place I visited is this Royal Museum. This is an awesome museum. I literally enjoyed the thrill of uh, watching the different kinds of trains, the motor railways, what they invented during since the beginning, how they came out, what the discoveries, different types of engines and. we get to know all this history here in this museum a lot of trains it's a good place for kids especially because mm, it's quite fascinating the different colors of trains we see here and the equipment they use during those days the trains were run by fuel even the coal it's quite nice i really enjoyed the roli super gundi so anyone who would like to or fancy about any people will be fancy about cars Uh, bikes so in same way when i was a kid i used to be fancy about the trains getting into a train so that thrill you'll get here if you come here uh, with kids especially mm, it's an awesome place i like i literally enjoyed this place uh, so i wanted you guys to enjoy the beautiful um, different types of trains here uh, you can have a look of a uh, different types and engines of trains this is an awesome place i thoroughly enjoyed i might recommend you guys to come here and guys like guys this is all about vlog this week and hopefully you have uh, hope you loved this so till we meet again please to follow subscribe share my channel and please give my love to everybody thank you all once again we'll meet soon